Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm JT. I'm Rick. And I'm Nadine. We're here to do a case study on how to get involved in Goodwill. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about Goodwill's business strategy. Goodwill is a nonprofit organization with a social enterprise model, and they make money by collecting donated items and selling them in their stores. This strategy well because they have no inventory costs, which allows them to invest 83% of their revenue into their missions. Goodwill's mission statement is to improve the quality of life of Goodwill's by eliminating barriers and uh, allowing them to uh, reach it. Goodwill's main concern is how to stay relevant in today's society. They feel that they can best do this by engaging millennials and into their stores. Goodwill is currently working on a marketing campaign that is featuring and targeting a younger audience. This is a really great strategy when you pair it with some of the external changes that we want to make, and it's a great way to get millennials thinking about Goodwill in a brand new way. We feel that the best way to engage millennials is going to be by moving away from a thrift store label so millennials can see how Goodwill is relevant. Our group feels that this campaign is a great way to get millennials thinking about Goodwill. However, we feel that the way to get millennials in the store are by making a few key changes to appearance, increasing technology, and increasing community awareness. All right, I'm here to talk about the external environment. The first is the social environment. That Goodwill stated themselves that one bad PR statement or story could ruin them. So one way to fight this is programs like Goodwill Cares that reach out to other organizations during natural disasters and help them during the... The next external environment I'm going to talk about is the demographic environment. Goodwill has stated that they're worried about their customers being phased out or older customers being phased out. And that this is why they need to focus on getting millennials into the store. They're also trying to bring Hispanics into the store, which will broaden their customer base and open up a whole new area of profit for the company. The third environment is the technological environment. Goodwill has made great strides in this environment by creating websites like Shop at Goodwill that allows them to auction off items. All right, the fourth environment is going to be their competition. Goodwill has stated that they do not have any nonprofit competition. Profit. The only competition they have is profit for-profit competition, which would be Walmart and Dollar General. Goodwill uses an eliminate competition strategy meaning they drive out other not-for-profit businesses in that area on purpose so that you only have one company to donate and to shop at. This creates a high entry cost barrier. The last environment I'm going to talk about is the economic environment. When the unemployment rate is high, their donations go down and their sales go down. When the unemployment rate is low, their donations increase and their sales increase. All right, let me tell you about Goodwill's unique nonprofit financial statement. Uh, they did $77 million in sales all across Middle Tennessee. And they have, uh, out of the $77 million in sales, $75.8 million came from 35 different retail stores. The expenses across Middle Tennessee were $75.8 million. And uh, out of that, $59.5 million uh, were from the stores directly. $8.4 million came from the mission services and career solutions that Goodwill provides, which leaves $1.2 million in excessive revenue to be reinvested back into the company. So by now we have alluded to the fact that Goodwill desires to increase profits by engaging a younger, more diverse crowd into their retail stores in the Middle Tennessee area. That being said, and as mentioned, we believe that their budget is still flexible enough to allow changes to some store appearances, their marketing campaigns, and some technological advances. While it is apparent that all of their stores have a need to update their appearance, it's probably most feasible to try using metropolitan areas like Nashville, Murfreesboro, Clarksville, and Franklin. To save money, Goodwill could hire a regional design manager who can offer internships to interior design and fashion students. Who these students would be responsible for designing the store with new colors, music, and mannequins decorated with today's latest fashion trends. 
A portion of their rent should also be allocated towards advertising towards millennials. They could have commercials with young actors who are doing activities with items that they purchased from Goodwill, such as shooting basketball hoops or cooking. They could also be decorating their first apartments with items they found at Goodwill. Another emphasis in their marketing realm should include commercials geared towards Hispanics. It is not known how many Hispanics know about Goodwill here in Middle Tennessee at this point. They should have commercials featuring Spanish-speaking actors talking about the costs they provide and the fact that they sell things like baby items, appliances, and furniture. Another part of advertising that we believe Goodwill should capitalize on is community outreach about their Goodwill Cares program. They do so many amazing things with the Red Cross and local churches and other nonprofit organizations many people don't know about that might actually change their opinion on how they feel about Goodwill. Further, they could develop an app to link volunteers to events that they are needed at. In regards to technology advances, the app would also allow local shoppers to browse for items in their local stores that will be similar to eBay. Once the item sells, it will give a truer value of that item to the donor, and then the donor would be able to turn around and import that data into TurboTax.com for tax purposes. So through a few strategic commercials geared towards Millennials, Hispanics, and the Goodwill Cares program, a few store facelifts and technology advances, we hope to change the negative perceptions of Goodwill as a traditional thrift store to a retail store.